about this was finding these huge pristine pieces that look like they've never been used or only minimally in the house. And that was amazing. I mean, we just don't see that kind of thing around. You found animal proteins on some of the rocks? A lab out in California, Cal State Bakersfield. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Proteins. We have four. There's 83 pieces in the collection. Actually, there's a couple more now. Pat found a couple more. But they were small flakes. So at the time, there were 83. The lab looked at all of them, and we found traces of protein on four. And each each of the four pieces had a different kind of protein on it. So we had um, sheep on one, bear on another, which are interesting, but not the, the dramatic ones. The dramatic ones are horse and camel. And, you know, there's horses and camels in Boulder County today. Um, these are family, sort of... Not species level identifications, but family level identifications. So all alpacas and llamas and camels are all kind of camelids. Um, so they're around today. They've been around all of the 20th century, maybe late 19th century. Horses the same way, a little bit longer. But before that time, horses and camels were here at the end of the Ice Age, minimum 13,000 years ago. Do you have a theory on how they were grouped together and why they were grouped together like that? The landscapers, we never saw them in place. Right? The landscapers took them all out. Um, and they say that they found the, almost all of them packed into a space about the size of a shoebox in the ground, which means they have to have been placed in a hole in the ground. If they were left on the surface, they would have dispersed. Uh, Doug's, Doug will be in the exhibit via video at all times, so people will be able to hear him talk about how he studied the tools, the kinds of uh, questions that arose from, from his investigation, and what he has been able to infer about these people that lived here so long ago from a time like this. Um, and there are lots of things to do in the exhibit um, when, it's, when it opens on Friday. If people come, they can see, uh, they can experience lots of things like holding replicas of the tools to see how they fit in a human hand, lifting some, uh, uh, device that helps you see how heavy the tools are, that we invite them to share their own reactions to the exhibit, and um, enjoy this special opportunity. Uh, on Saturday, October 10th, starting at 10 a.m., is a family day organized around ancient life in the Boulder Valley, so people will be able to come and try out some things like throwing an atlatl, uh, flint napping, making stone tools, by hand and some other things like making cordage out of plant material. Um, so we'll have a lot of guest presenters here that will be creating a very rich experience that's appropriate for all ages.